Hey guys, Ash Lane here today. I have an updated and jam-packed Clan Castle defensive guide that's going to reflect the changes made at the last update. But before we get to the replays, let's go ahead and discuss exactly what happened the last update. Now there were changes to the poison and freeze spells. Poison now powers up over time and the troops take less damage at first and then much more damage over the duration. It powers up kind of like an inferno tower. Now the poison spell also slows the attack rate of the defending troops and the free spells now freeze lava hounds minions and dragons basically any air troops can now be frozen as well by a free spell over at town hall 10 now one thing that important to note here is the poison spell slowing the attack rate actually does affect dragons in a big way it slows them down even more also wizards and obviously the high dps units now what does this mean well dragons are now quite less powerful and I'm going to show that in some replays coming up. Lava Hounds are also a little bit less powerful on three star attempts especially because if you do an air raid for example if you do a a, a Lava Lunion or a Penta Hound type raid or even uh, if you're able to go ahead and use a Queen Walk not to trigger the Clan Castle around the edges of the base well the Lava Hound will never even exit the Clan Castle. I actually showed an example of that yesterday and uh, lower, hit, uh, lower hit point units like Barch and combinations of Barch along with higher hit point units are now viable again, and we'll show that later. So the bottom line is that offense is a bit more powerful in the game. This is kind of a balancing update, and offense have certainly taken a, a big edge here. Now, some troops have their pros and their cons. Uh, I think all troops now have pros and cons in the clan castle, but my solution is instead of having almost exclusively hounds and dragons and clan castles and clan wars, now we're going to start to see some more variety. Variety. There'll still be some dra dragons and uh, hounds, but you can see actually now combinations of slow moving and fast moving troops. Every town hall level variety is going to be uh, the key, size and speed in my opinion. I'm going to show some examples of that and you can see some examples of the screen. But first, let's hop into uh, how, how and why dragons have taken a little bit of a hit in this update. And I'm just going to show you, I don't know, four or five examples now of dragons being burned with a new poison spell. Now, these aren't even max poison spells and granted the archer queen is going to lock onto this dragon but you can see the dragon here max dragon isn't taking pretty much any damage here and you can see the poison spell is going to power up real quickly there and the queen's going to get a hold of the dragon right towards the end there as well and the dragon just goes down really really fast and more importantly it was slowed down a lot it wasn't putting out much damage at all with that new poison spell uh, advantage there with a slow now on this attack here you're going to see the same sort of thing here engaging the these are all three star attacks by the way guys I'm not going to show you the, all the uh, the replays of all of them a few I will but this is going to be a pretty long video as is I just really want to illustrate the clan castle troops and how easily dragons can be taken down now these are without lures on these first uh, replays here but I'll bring you a lure attack or two or even three coming up real shortly here this one by super uh, super sue again you're just going to see this poison spell level three just going to bleed through this dragon really quickly and with a dragon in a Valkyrie like that they're gonna go down so so fast uh, especially as soon as that poison spell starts to power up now on this one here I believe it is a lure it's uh, by the dude so the dude's gonna go ahead and uh, lure this dragon out of the clan castle and once he does we're just gonna see firsthand how fast it goes down with that poison spell now obviously you are gonna have to wait an extra uh, five to ten seconds for this thing to power up as you can see right here so about 10 seconds or so, but he goes ahead and he drops the golem, gets into the first phase of his attack, and a wizard takes down the uh, takes down uh, the dragon there. And one thing to note there is that a max poison will bring a max dragon, oh, about down to like 50 to 100 hit points, very minimal. Just one or two hits by a wizard will take the dragon down. And another important thing to note is that the poison spell, it now lingers. After the poison spell goes away, the unit that were in its radius are still going to end up taking damage. So you really, that's really important to note. Now you guys might be wondering at this point, well, Ash, how, how do we fit? How do we combat this? How do we change things? What do you recommend? Well, I'm going to show that towards the end of the video because I've been doing a lot of defensive work on my accounts, just trying to get a feel for the best way to do it. But first, I want to bring a couple Town Hall 8 or 7 uh, replays for you here. And you can see luring the dragon here has never been easier, really. So as long as 
as you're able to lure, even if it costs four hogs, if you need to, if the clan castle isn't lurable, go ahead and lure it. Drop down some archers here, like Farm So Hard does in the Clash with Ash Clan, and the dragon's gonna go down. This is only a level two poison spell, but you can see he didn't need that many troops to take down that dragon. It was really pretty easy. So you can see here now the hogs just bleed through the village, not having to deal with a clan castle and not having to use many troops or spells to do so. It's just such a huge advantage of the game. I mean, we started to see the effect of the poison spell uh, right after the dark spell update, just how effective the poison can be. And now I think it's even more effective. I think this is definitely a balancing update. And oh, just to touch upon this, if you guys are at Town Hall level 7 or lower, well, there's really no changes because you don't have the poison spell yet. So I, I would say the dragon still isn't the best unit, but it can be an effective unit against uh, inexperienced attackers. But you saw how fast that one went down there. Now on this replay here, it's going to be Town Hall 10 dragon in Clan Castle. It's a dragon, a, a balloon, and a, few, a couple wizards and an archer there or two. And what he's going to do here, Ivo, is going to go ahead and do a traditional lure. I think luring, as you just saw on the screen, is going to be the way to go, guys. If you can lure a clan castle, you're going to want to do it. Because think about it. If you have, I mean, this, I guess, if you're going for three stars, well, maybe that doesn't apply because you might want to use your air raid not even to trigger the clan castle if you know there's a hound in there. But look at this. The dragon didn't even do any damage. The, the poison spell just went ahead and it slowed him so much that he was pretty much useless. Now, Ivo's going to go through this raid, and as I was saying, guys, if you can lure the clan castle on offense, man, you have a huge advantage because if there's some, if they're low hit point units... You can go ahead and just do a full-out lure and then poison them in the corner. And if they're high hit point units like a dragon or balloons or Valkyries, well, the poison, the new poison spell can still bleed right through them. Just takes a little bit of patience. Have to wait there for 10 seconds. But if you're not attempting three stars, that's usually not the end of the world. Now, I have many ideas on three star attacks and how they're going to change the game. Coming soon, uh, all this next week, I'm going to be bringing a lot of three star replays and how they're different now than they used to be, especially at Town Hall 10 uh, since the update, since the new poison spell. But here's the danger in not varying your troops. Now, this defender here, the, by the way, this is a cool attack, guys, you might want to see, using uh, using the, the combination of one earthquake and two lightning spells. Now, these are max new level seven lightning spells and level five dragons, so everything's maxed here on Razorback's account. What he's going to do here is try to lure the clan castle with balloons. And the idea here is if there's not a hound in the clan castle, well, the, oh, the clan castle is going to empty out. Because if there was a hound, it would not be triggered right now. Because they're balloons, not hogs. But because he's using the balloons, those wizards come out. And because he didn't vary his troop size and speed, they all just bunched together. And, and Razorbacks easily just dropped a, a poison spell there. And they burned right through those wizards. Now, what I'm going to advocate you guys do... You can still use hounds, you can still use dragons, I should mention that right now. You can still use them, they can still be effective if the attacker isn't experienced, or if they don't lure, or if they misplace their poison spell, there's all different ways that they can still have an effective way, but they're just not as effective as they used to be. That's all I'm saying here on this guide. It just opens the door up for other types of attacks. So you can see this is a pretty cool attack here by Razorbacks with the uh, the dragons and taking out two air defenses. But this is what I've been doing here. We're going to start out with an example of Morphus varying his troop sizes and speeds. Now, when I say that, what do I mean? Well, you can see the clan castle here is going to be filled with all sorts of different troops. Barge troops, and even a few minions as well, and then it's going to end with a witch. And you guys know this from before the whole poison spell, that witches take forever to come out of the clan castle, and when you pair them with lower hit point units, or I shouldn't say lower hit point, lower troop size units like minions or barge, anything with less than 12 troop capacity, which is what the witches are, they're going to come out out last and when they come out last they take forever to leave the clan castle and more often than not the attacker is going to have to choose if he's not luring well if he is luring He's going to be able to lure the clan castle, but it's going to cost him a lot of troops because they take a lot longer to empty out. I think we've all gotten used to being able to lure a clan castle with just one or two hogs since the update because most of the time it's just a dragon or, or, uh, some, or a hound, a lava hound. But you can see in these examples, now this is what I've been doing on my defensive log. I'm going to play all three of these for you. Like I said, a little bit of a longer episode, but I really wanted to touch on what I've been trying out, what I've been having success with. And you can see all three 
three of these attacks are one stars. And I don't know about you guys, but I look at one stars, especially when trophy pushing up in high champions, I look at that as a win. So what I've done here is, on this first attacker, he's going to go ahead and try to lure the clan castle. But as I said, you need to be carrying way more troops to lure than you had to if there was just one hound in there. So if there was a hound in there, he could have easily killed it off in the corner using three wizards and the minion and the poison. You guys know how to do that. I just brought that last video to you guys, and I brought it a few months ago originally. But... As you can see here, he enters the base, but he was only able to lure out not even a third of the clan castle there. So here come all my minions, and look at that look at that witch there. This is the combination I've been having a lot of success with, and what it is is it's one witch, nine minions, and then the rest are barsh. Uh, barbarians or archers doesn't really matter. So what you do here, the speed and the size of those troops allows it, what what it does is it forces the attacker's hand. He can either lay back on that that poison spell and get the witch he doesn't even know there's a witch in there but if he guesses that maybe there's a witch he can linger a while and wait till the witch gets out there and use the uh he can use the poison spell on the witch as she's exiting the clan castle and take down the witch or but but if he does that he's gonna have to deal with nine minions that do a decent amount of dps uh, why, in, in turn for taking out that witch. They're never going to group up because the minions are always going to fly all the way over and the witch is always going to stay near the clan castle and summon all her skeletons. As you know, she doesn't really move too fast. She kind of sits there and just summons skeletons for quite a while near the clan castle. This is going to be an air raid and although it's not a a, a huge plus, this this composition against an air, a balloonian attack, lava balloonian attack, it can still be successful because what can happen here is that all the minions, the nine minions in the clan castle and the archers, actually do a decent amount of damage to the balloons. And they're able to take down all oh, five or six balloons by themselves, and because there's really not any high DPS units on the reverse side, even if there are minions that can take down some minions. And then the heroes are left just having to pick up the percentage. And the witch got taken down by a balloon, but that's not really a big deal. But as on the third one here, I think it's going to be the same exact situation that happened on the first replay here. Yeah, there's there's no lure this time. He just goes in with his max poison spell. He has his max heroes, his max troops. He's going to come in again northeast, and he's going to use a, uh, a pretty well-placed uh, rage spell there to sneak in some wall breakers. They actually die, but either way, he gets to the center of the base into that uh, earthquake spell. He's ready to engage the clan castle, but look, it happens again. Even though the clan castle is relatively close to the troops, all those minions he chooses to use the poison on, and look at this wizard. We're going to go ahead, and, or the witch, excuse me. We're going to go ahead and, and zoom a little bit on her, but you can see her right next to that inferno tower. She's just summoning skeletons, and summoning skeletons, and summoning skeletons. Basically takes down his uh, barbarian king and the rest of his troops, and he's only able to just barely get the town hall and only 33%. So I, I count that as a big win. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this updated clan castle defensive guide. Had a lot of fun bringing it to you guys i'm really looking forward to the big update in october i'll have more information on that when it comes out or when the sneak peeks are announced and i hope in the meantime you enjoyed this and you share it with your clanmates guys take care hey guys thanks for watching my video i wanted to give you three quick ways you can help the channel out number one subscribe if you're not already it really helps me number two is give a thumbs up like the video number three continue to tell your clanmates about my channel it really helps and i really appreciate it and also social media you can find me a uh, follow me on twitter at clash underscore with underscore ash also follow me or find me on bindle at uh hashtag Clash with Ash. And don't forget to visit my website, www.clashwithash.com. Take care, guys.